Hey everybody, welcome back to the World RPG. Just gonna do a little uh, solo today. We just finished up a bunch of high runs. We did some Zombie Lord and we did some Sam. We got a bunch of drops and uh, specifically we got a ton of stuff. Oh geez. Um, that's a little better. So I haven't played on Battle.net in a little bit here. Sound effects a little. So first we're going to go and man, this really does look weird. Uh, let's see. We're going to go Volcanic Lands. And we're going to kill... Hopefully, we're looking to get a Helm of Passion. So, we'll do this quick while our guy is grabbing the reds so we can do Demon Lord. We want to finish off our Helm of Passion. So, no Helm of Passion. It'll drop when it drops. This guy's done. We'll go do... Uh, summon up Demon Lord here. We need a Dark Matter. And then I'll look at some of the other stuff we need for Grandine. Tunic of Wrath. Um... We have to get another vest of protection. We've made some pretty good progress on our Bowmaster so far, I'd say. This Halo Judgment's going to be one of the one of the next really big things. We got all the high drops for it, so. Uh, while we're at it, we'll go ahead and kill Golem. We're looking for the icon from him, is all. We'll go deal with the invasion. Okay. We have Demon Lord. Dark Wings. Uh, we don't need. That's fine. Let's, uh, uh... Nightmare Rod shouldn't be off cooldown yet, so... We'll go kill Mana Ancient here. He has a chance to drop a spirit orb, which we'll need. And let let me just double double check some of this. Um, we have a tunic of subtlety, which goes into. So we need a cape of the dead. We need a dragon scale and a ghostly thread. So we'll do mad clown and wings of death as well. We might as well. Um, do we have a? Best of protection. No. No, we do not. Um, because best of protection is needed 
for Guardian Vest. So we will keep killing him because we need it. Uh, we'll head back to cave entrance. Go kill Demon Lord. So you can see our damage is a lot better than it used to be. It's going back up. And now we'll go to Mechanic Lands. We'll summon Wings of Death. Don't know if Nightmare Rod is off cooldown. It's not. Uh, we did get a Dragon Scale, so we are done with Wings of Death for now. Back to Cave Entrance. And we'll head to Fairy Forest. We're just going to keep running this stuff for a little bit, basically. Oh, man, Ancient's not back yet. Should be back soon. Like I said, we do need a Vest of Protection, and we need a Spirit Stone. Um, so we can probably go kill Spirit Beast as well after we're done this. Um, where else are we going here? Golem? You up? And again, if you don't know, we're killing Golem for um, the icon. We need his icon. And we're killing Demon Lord here for a Dark Matter. No, not, not Dark Wings. Dark Matter. So these we need for our Tunic of Wrath. Um, we can go kill Blood Wraith and Mad Clown. Is there trouble? Um, mechanic Lands. For the Making sure. Oh, he's not up yet. Gladly. Should be up soon. We'll head over to Wallachia. Yeah, he should be spawning in just a moment. We'll try and get the Cursed Mask on cooldown as well. Since we need a Cape of the Dead. There it is. Blood Wraith. There's Cape of the Dead. Now, we don't have the Heart of Fire we need for that, but it's good just to have the pieces put together, right? Uh, it's a ghostly thread is what we need now. So, no Dark Matter. Uh, let's go do Mad Clown. We'll do Golem first, put him on cooldown.
Um, we'll do Mana Ancient here quick as well, because he's got a long cooldown. Alright. Let's go do Mad Clown then. This, uh, I, I really can't explain just how much better this looks. There's slightly more delay. Like, the ping's not quite as good. And uh, it doesn't run quite as well. Like, Reforged is just so poorly optimized. But, man, it, it looks so much better that it's worth it. I will always play on Battle.net when I can. Okay, this should be wheel. I'm game, making sure. I'm game for the treat. Gladly, making sure. Gladly, I'm game for the treat. Making sure. I'm game for the treat. Much worse mechanic than Sam. Uh, yeah, I, so I want to, I want to go kill, uh, evil lava spawn. So I want to put it on cooldown. We didn't get the nightmare rod last time, so it should get, be a nightmare rod this time. Should have been five minutes by now. Nope. Well, we'll get the Helm of Passion eventually. We'll have to do another game in order to get... Um, man, my brain's not working today. We'll have to do another game in order to get uh, the Dark Matter from Demon Lord anyways. I just want to kill the Wraths, um, the Wraiths, rather, before I go back to him. That's annoying. Uh, 
All right. Hi. Gladly for the treat. I'm going to make the treat. God damn it. <laughs> I clicked on him, so I ran towards him. So, we'll have everything once we get the Heart of Fire, and then we'll need- oh, we do need a Dark Wing, Scott! <laughs> Whoops. I'm sure someone who knows what they're doing is probably yelling at me for that. Are we being invaded? I'm game. Um, I'm back game. to the Dungeon Warlock, yeah. The, uh, the Nightmare Rod shouldn't be on cooldown yet. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Do I die here? I think I just die here. Oh no. Oh ho ho, lucky. These guys, the scarabs and the wraiths, do have a, I don't know, like a 1% chance or something to drop the uh, the ghostly thread and the scarab bone. They're actually like not that low of a percent drop rate from Mad Clown, but... Oh no. This is going to suck. Yep. Mad Clown's always the worst, I swear. Yeah, I hate this boss. I hate this boss so much. Very true. Now, I also record every game, just about every game. On this bowmaster. I think the only time I didn't record was when I was doing some inventory management stuff. Oh 
Orders are under attack. I'm game. Making sure. Gladly. For the truth. God, I am so sick of this boss. Are you kidding me? I think I'm used to... I got used to the slightly irregular shapes on uh, E-Battle. So my movement's a little weird now. The delay is so much more noticeable. Yeah, I didn't think the cooldown would be up yet. Wrong one. Okay, Mad Clown. Let's try this again, shall we? So I'm game for the truth. Gladly for the truth. I'm game gladly. Making sure for the truth. Making sure. Gladly. I'm game. I'm game. Making sure. For the truth. Aim very sure. Gladly. For the truth. I'm game. Aim very sure. Yep. Gladly. For the forces are under attack. Making sure. Yeah, what the hell? We don't need any drops, but. Oh my god, we didn't die. I don't think it was possible. He's not gonna give us a single drop. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh god. Oh god. I'm so dead. 
How am I alive? I don't I don't know. Okay, no ghostly thread. Uh, let's go kill Mana Ancient and Evil Lava Spawn once more, and then we'll reset. Mana Ancient. They should be full mana, so I'll have to aggro and then run. Oh no, they're not. Activating it makes me immune to debuffs for a short duration. So I just remove the slow with it, it's a cleanse. Um, volcanic lands. Helm of Passion, come on. Get Helm of Passion here, then all we need is a dark matter to finish crafting our Halo of Judgment. And, of course, we didn't. So, we'll go ahead and save. Mission. I have auto-save replays on, so no need to worry about that. Just go ahead and make another private game. And we'll get back into it. Y'all know I always got to be purple. So I can swap this over to game capture. There we go. That way it uh, doesn't keep going black for you guys. Looks like Akio's hosting some Ancient Ent as well. I'm gonna probably play some more later, but for today anyways, I'm just gonna do this stuff. Let's... We tried. Is there trouble? We'll go kill Lava Spawn. There we it is. Come on. Finally. Helm of Passion. So that is our Helm of Battle. Completed. All we need now is a Dark Matter. So let's go Fairy Forest and get Ancient Ent killed. Or Mana Ancient, rather.
I'm gonna go actually summon him first. We also need a Dark Wings, which two dropped last game and I forgot. Hopefully we still get one. Dark Wings is pretty common, so. Also, I can actually just look at the drop rates. Let's top over here. Boss. And I scroll on down to Demon Lord. Where are you? Demon Lord. Uh, they are both 8% drops. We'll still go kill um, the usual bosses that we're looking for our icons from. So Golem and Ragnar will keep killing. And I guess we'll do Mad Clown as well. Although I don't want to. Still need that ghostly threat, so. Yeah, we have our hell of battle. Oh, we need a mithril from Mage Lord as well. So we'll go do Mage Lord quick. See if we can't get a mithril. I forgot we used our mithril when we were crafting something else for our Ring of Time. Well, there's the dark matter. Um, let's go kill Mage Lord. We get a Mithril, then we have our Halo of Judgment. Yep, we just need the Helm of Battle now. Is there trouble? Making sure. I'm game. Very excited to finally get this. It'll be a really nice upgrade for us. Um. Golem. What's up? For the truth. He is not. Go kill Ragnar quick then. If you're wondering why I'm doing this solo, I just... I, no one else is going to want these drops. And if you do, I mean, these are just such easy bosses to solo that it's usually just faster to do it yourself. Do I need an Ancient Writings? Let's double check. This is for crafting into, yeah, Eternal Flame. Nope. 
don't need one. Part of Ifrit we uh, we want for um, our Crusader, but we don't want it for. Don't want it for our Bowmaster. We'll finish this off and then. Hopefully, we get the Mithril here. Are we being invaded? I'm down. Is there trouble? It's kind of weird not having the burst of pure damage on every skill cast. I'm thinking I might actually just like. The, uh, the Wings of Fury better. I'm down. Like the, the burst of pure damage. For the troops. It's, a, it's a lot. It's it's not insignificant. Like, we check it up. It's every skill cast. We deal main stat times 2.5 plus agility pure damage with a 12.5% chance to deal main stat times 5, plus agility times 2 pure damage instead. Um, and 18 agility for 7 seconds, stacking up to 10. Like, I think the Wings of Fury are still... You see that big burst of damage there? That's from my auto attacks doing the pure damage. If I was using, like... I don't know, because... Okay, so the Guardian of the Skies, right? It does deal pure damage as well. It's main stat times two. But it's significantly less, but it's on every attack. So for a four second window, when using a uh, pure storm shot, it's better. But as a whole, it's just not as good. No Mithril, of course. Let's see about getting the Dark Wings here. Go kill Golem. Well, he's summoning, we'll go do Ragnar and Mana Ancient as well. The, the icon drops on these guys is so low. Um, I don't care about the Nightmare Rod anymore. Not right now, anyways. Take care of Mana Ancient. Might do another video doing some coin farming with some other friends. Maybe I'll see if Cat wants to do any or something. And we'll finish off the video with more Mad Clown, I guess. Not the drop we wanted. Of course, we passed up on uh, 
passed up on two dark wings, so now we're not going to get any for 30 kills. I'll remake quick and do Mage Lord again, and hopefully we can get a myth roll. But we need a ghostly thread here. Yeah, I got body blocked there. Too much damage. Got him to 50% before I got his clones dead. Still need a God's Page. But a God's Page is the last high drop that we need. I think she has a token drop, that's why I'm killing her. Drag him up here for the 50%. There we are. Yep. Now, the wraiths that spawn here can also drop it at a significantly lower drop rate. So, there is that option of farming them. You can AFK farm them for the ghostly threads instead, if you really wanted to.
Okay. One of these days. What even is the drop rate on this thing? Bad cloud. Where are you, mad cloud? Uh, 5% drop rate. The token's a 0, 1. The icon is 0. 0.25. Uh, Mana Ancient Icon is 0.15, Spirit Orbs 0 0.05, the Ancient Token is 0, 0 0.01. Um, Blood Wraith does not have uh, a token drop, neither does Lockheed Monstrosity. So. The Golem Icon is 0 0.15 as well. Tentacle Lord Icon is 0 0.15, I suppose we could be killing Tentacle Lord as well. I'm game. Gladly. The Icon. Okay, we skipped the uh, the summon phase, so that's fine in my books. And I don't know if I need a mad symbol. Let's take a look, shall we? We'll need one for Heartseeker. Okay. We're actually pretty close to getting that. We just need a Heart of Fire. The Spirit Abyss is going to go not towards that, though. Spirit of the Abyss is going to go towards our Grandine. This we do need to craft into our other bow. Or the upgrade of this bow uses Heartseeker. I am curious about is maybe I'll, I'll look this up quick. Heart Seeker changes your arrow rain to do um, a bunch of homing missiles, and I'm wondering if the God Bow does that as well, or if it's only on Heart Seeker. Well, this is almost certainly death. Yep. God damn it. Mad clown. You probably do want to go cold ring of death as well. This oh we need we need it to upgrade for Grandine anyways eventually. Um Okay. How? Somehow I'm alive. Somehow I'm alive. Oh, 
Okay, so after this last kill, we'll make a new game and try and get another mithril. And if I can... Oh, that's how I'm alive. Bring a time went off. Um... Nice. Skip the summons. Okay. There we are, ghostly thread. Are we being Very nice. Uh, do I need another mad symbol? Do I need two? Uh, heart seeker and flame nightmare icon. Mad clown, wings of death. Okay. So I will need one eventually. So might as well grab it since I have the space. And I'm about to free up a bunch of space anyways. Uh, we'll save here. And we'll go get a mithril. Okay, let's go kill Mage Lord. Uh, cave entrance, set you up on this. There. And we'll go kill Mana Ancient. Maybe we'll throw Tentacle Lord into this rotation too, because those are icons that you have to get through drops. Unfortunately, you can't get them through crafting items together like you can with some. You just have to get these ones, and they're all necessary for eventually crafting into the Master and Grandmaster icons. Um, so you gotta do them all eventually. And what the hell, we'll throw Tentacle Lord in here as well. And uh, the amount of stats that you get from Grandmaster Icon, even just the Master Icon, they are Significant. Or in the deep sea. Rare drop, not the rare drop we're looking for. Um, here we go, Frosty Snowfield. Okay. 
gladly. Making cake. Oh, it's full. Is there trouble? Did I get... I did, okay. I want to make sure I didn't leave one on the ground in the last one and not realize it. There's the mithril. What is nature's call? Let's go craft our helmet. Is there trouble? Put that on the ground for a second. So first we craft Helma Battle. Boom. Then we craft Halo of Judgment. Ooh, that feels good. So, the upgrade for this, which I will probably end up going for, uh, we need a God's Page, but we need three drops. Veltora, Veltora, Ifrit, and Nariad. Uh, all three of them drop these Fragment of Ruins. Um, and then we need an Agarith drop. I've never even seen Agarith. I've never fought him back when I used to play. Uh, he wasn't even out yet. So, um, yeah, here I'll do Valtora and Agarith for this upgrade. But, in the meantime, here we are. Halo of Judgment, baby. We got it. Um... Um, what is nature's yeah, that's, that's it. Bonus auto attack damage, um, uh, on activate, we can give ourselves magic barrier, which, that's a long ass duration for immune to magic. Um. And then on attack, it gives us Judgment Stacks, which gives us pure damage on auto attack. So if we watch just our auto attacks here, and we watch the pure damage, look at the pure damage add up. It's insane. Actually insane how much pure damage that is. It's actually more than the magic damage we're dealing. They kind of go back and forth a little bit. Um... It's a crazy amount of damage. The reason these are fluctuating is because the pure damage can't crit, but the magic damage bonus, this can crit. Um, so, it fluctuates a little bit because of that. If we get a bunch of lucky crits in a row, the magical skyrocket. If we don't get any crits on it, the pure damage skyrockets. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this helps out our physical damage a little bit as well, the 15 auto attack damage, but that's not where the majority of our damage is coming from. Uh, we are missing out, of course, on uh, the crit from uh, Grim Visage. So it's just the natural crit chance, which is extremely low. Uh, it's just based on our agility gives us crit chance. Um, so we don't have the bonus from Grim Visage anymore, but hey. We are uh, three-piece Gnosis, and we have Gnosis wings we could use as well. I'm going, gladly. Let me check this out. All we need now is an Antimatter, Dark Crystal, Fragment of Oblivion. So Zombie Lord and Skeleton King, we need to keep farming, so we'll do some more of that. And uh, we'll be getting the Antimatter as we're farming up... Um, what is nature's call? Uh, as we're farming up shadow dragon for other stuff because we need a lot of shadow dragon drops yeah that's uh that's it that's that's our drops for today it's a little bit of a weird one um i will throw this video up on the same day um as the last one the sam video just because it's you know, following up on that. Um, nothing super exciting, just finishing up grabbing the crafting materials. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next video.